Speaking of winning, we're going to talk about football. It's been reported today that anti-racism campaigners in football are to offer workshops uh, to Geordies who've taken to wearing homemade headdresses to celebrate the arrival of the new Saudi owners of Newcastle United, who it's hoped their petrodollars will ensure success on the pitch. The Daily Mail says lessons in cultural sensitivity are to be offered at St James's Park. They're not strangers to cultural sensitivity at St James's Park. Uh, to fans who've worn tea towels and bed sheets in imitation of the dish dash and kaffir. The anti-racism group Kick It Out is said to be planning talks with officials at Newcastle to dis discourage the practice. But is it cultural appropriation or merely an authentic expression of gratitude? Andrew, I think there's a, a sort of read across here slightly to our previous story. Yes. In, in the sense that you've got, I, su I suggest to you, Newcastle United fans here who are just keen to, to, to show their gratitude, that yeah. they mean no, no disrespect, Again, Your Honour. What this story shows us is this absolute chasm uh, between this, this class of people who are in control of these kind of workshops and these kind of uh, initiatives and the people that they're directed at. The very idea that these fans are going to voluntarily go along to a workshop about cultural sensitivity is hilarious. The fact that they would even suggest that this is going to happen, course, have they not met these people? Have they not met football fans? I mean, what are they talking about? And, and also, it's very interesting, because I've, I've seen the pictures of the, uh, of the people dressing up in the various robes and the garments, and yeah. it's absolutely clear it's not intended to hurt or offend. It's not a mockery of another culture. It, they're trying to, in, in their own way, to celebrate. Um, the fact that the, the new the new owners of the club, um, it, you might say it's a bit gauche. I mean, I wouldn't do it, um, but I'm not a football fan. And, I, you know, what I can say for sure is from, from just seeing what, the, what they've been doing, that it's not intended to inf offend. And the intent actually is the key here. It's, it's not about uh, how it might be perceived or, or the way that... People, people dress up. They dress up, yeah. Cricket matches. It's part of that festival of misrule and... Yeah, it relates know. to what we talked about last week about the rugby team, the, uh, the uh, Exeter Chiefs yeah. and the, the Native American headdress. They're not doing that to mock Native American Indians yeah. or, or Native Americans, as I should say. Uh, they, you see, I've almost got myself in trouble there, <laughs> you see. I just, you, they'll be it, waiting for the door, <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> that's enough before you talk yourself into more bother. Thanks very much. Uh, it's the subject of our poll, uh, which we might be able to pull up for you. If we can't, I'll, I'll tell you what's been said, what's been voted upon. Uh, the question, there it is. Uh, are Newcastle United fans who wear Arabian-style headdresses to celebrate the Magpie Saudi takeover guilty of cultural appropriation? Uh, a, a fifth of you said, aye. Who are, the, who are those people? <laughs>